the S5-2X now for about six months and I've come up with a way to rig it out that keeps with my philosophy of minimal but efficient. I love small cameras and over rigging is something that I'm not really about on this channel. If my hybrid camera gets bigger and more expensive than a proper cinema camera, then it kind of defeats the purpose of having a hybrid camera in my mind. So I'm only adding things that will actually make sense and help me on a shoot day. I'll be using my S5 2X of course for this example, but I use similar pieces of kit to rig out all my cameras. So real quick, the YouTube stuff and freelance work that I do is very small crew and really run and gun. So a lot of the rigging choices that I make are gonna reflect that. Your needs may differ Differ, but I can only really speak on what works best for me and the type of work that I do. So cages are a necessary evil when it comes to rigging out your camera. I personally think they kind of make cameras look bad, but you kind of need one if you want more mounting options than just your hot shoe. Most of the time I opt for half cages to preserve the grips on my cameras, but in this case I went for the small rig full cage, which actually contours to the grip, which I like a lot. This cage features a NATO rail on the top, quarter 20s, 3 eighths, and two cold shoes. I tend to like small rig gear and this one is only gonna cost you about 70 bucks. One of the biggest differentiators between hybrid cameras and cinema cameras is probably how you handle them. So speaking of handles, I've been using this U-Rig top handle for a while, but chances are you won't be able to find it anymore. So this small rig handle works just as well and it's only about 30 bucks. It attaches via the NATO rail on the cage and it feels really good to hold. I don't bother with side handles cause for me, they're kind of unnecessary. Most cameras these days have pretty decent battery life for smaller projects, but if you're gonna be rolling the camera for over a couple of hours, it's pretty much a necessity to have an external power supply. I've tried so many different V-mount and NPF battery options, but what I've kept coming back to is this small rig mini V-mount setup. It consists of this small rig VB50 or the VB99 for more power, and this small rig compact V-mount plate. So one of the nice things about having a lot of smaller gear is that all of it is pretty compatible with each other. So this is Arca Swiss female on the bottom of this V-mount plate and the bottom of the S5 2X cage is also Arca Swiss. So I can just slide it into there, clamp it down and it's really, really solid. So that's one of the reasons why I went with a lot of smaller gears because it all just works really well together. This V-mount plate is a little pricey for what it is, and these batteries aren't the cheapest, but they haven't failed me yet, and they'll keep your kit compact and looking really sharp. This video is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. Consider joining me there. For only five bucks a month, I share my exclusive lighting breakdowns, camera reviews, and tutorials. Plus, I give away my digital products for free, and it's a much more direct way to reach out with any questions or suggestions. Next, I'll add other essential pieces of kit to make the whole rig work, such as a microphone. I use my trusty Godox VDS-M2, and I'll add my OC Lilmon 5 with a small rig swivel mount. I'll use this Condor Blue HDMI cable to run the feed into my monitor. It's crazy that you can customize almost any camera on the market these days to better suit your needs as a camera operator. I remember when I was making things out of PVC to get better functionality out of my cameras. And now not only can I rig my hybrid cameras out far better, but it also is not gonna cost me an arm and a leg. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have all of the pieces of gear linked in the description below. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Consider joining me on Patreon and I'll see you all later. Bye.